Hello everyone! Greetings from me and my baby here. How y'all doing? Uh, today I thought that I would just sit down and do a quick June favourites video because I've always loved watching other people's favourites videos and since it just happened to be June, happened to be last day of June today, I thought I would go ahead and film a favourites of what I've enjoyed using this past month. Looking at my stash now, I realise a lot of this is really pink. Which happens to be a favourite colour, so it's fine, but like, it's so pink. Anyways, let's get started. So the first thing I have, I'm going to start with makeup and like beauty related. So the first thing I have is the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Has a bit of love. It has seen better days. Ever since I filmed my first um, YouTube video and I used it in there, I've just re-fallen in love with how nice these colors look and how easy it is to blend so i've really been enjoying this for every day like whether i'm going out to see my friends or even to the shops when i'm bothered i've been really gravitating towards this palette in particular so my second favorite of this month i would say would be two products from go to i only have one of them here um, this is the Face Hero Oil from GoTo and also their Lip Balm, which is actually my sister's, but I steal all the time. Like I do her clothes. But yes, um, those two products have been really, really nice because not only do they smell really nice, they both smell like mango, but they've been really hydrating. And especially for lip balms, I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes when you put um, too much lip balm on, especially like um, petroleum jelly based ones, it tends to uh, bunch up in the middle of your lips here and then you get that like weird residue. The go-to lip balm doesn't do that and it's still very hydrating to the lips. And same with the Face Hero, I've been using this every night essentially because especially now that it's winter here in Australia I've been using this every night after moisturizer and it's just really helped my skin to stay soft when I wake up in the morning as well so yeah I would really recommend this and this is a really good um, product for those of you who prefer things that have no silicones, parabens, sulfates, GMOs, mineral oils, colors or animal testing um, it's an Australian brand so I always love supporting local businesses and products if you're in the market for a good oil definitely recommend this one next i have which might seem a bit weird i have a shampoo and um, conditioner duo that i really love so recent uh recently i had some kevin murphy shampoo left over and i don't know if um I don't know if you know what Kevin Murphy is, but it's a fairly like high-end salon quality shampoo. It's not cheap. I think it's like $40 or like a bottle that's about like this big. Like it's not cheap. But I was trying to finish it up because I, di I didn't really like it so much. But I had to do it because it was expensive. So I went back to my old trusty Mugu shampoos here. So this is the Mugu um, Milk Shampoo and this is the Mugu um, Milk Conditioner, the Cream Conditioner, sorry. And Mugu is an Australian brand that specialises in using milk in their products and all of them is all natural. And if you even if you just look at the ingredients list, it lists out what they are in plain names as well. For example, it... It explains what cocomidoprofil betaine is, which it says is a coconut derived cleanser. Mugu has a lot of really good products that have really good reviews. Like I use their um, deodorant quite often, like their all natural deodorant. It's the one, only one that's really worked for me. But yeah, ever since I've gone back to the shampoo and conditioner, my hair has just felt so much nicer and I have an itchy scalp from time to time and this really helps with that too because I feel like the silicones or maybe the artificial fragrance I don't know what it is but in most shampoos my head tends to get a bit irritated and gets itchy um, and that's not like 
it's not comfortable sometimes you can even see on my hairline like it's a bit red and like spotty it's not great so after i use this i really feel like my hair has gotten a lot more bounce in it it's a lot more lightweight because it's not weighed down by the silicon and my head is just non-itchy itch free so i really do swear by this um so if you're in the market for natural shampoos that are good for your scalp that is not irritating at all i would definitely recommend this the only issue is it's not really an issue but the only downside of it personally for me is that it doesn't lather as well as um, traditional shampoos would uh, which i feel like may be a natural shampoo thing like anything that's natural tends to not lather up as much so since i bought this brush this um shampoo brush that i talked about in my previous video it's really helped um me get that lather that i want when i wash my hair and it just helps really deep clean my hair so when i wash my hair now i'll pump two pumps of the shampoo um, rub it all in my hair and then i'll use this to just concentrate on the roots and rub it around like this and not only do I get a massage and a deep cleanse, but I also get a really nice lather out of the uh, Mugu shampoo. So I would also really recommend this. I got this for 280 at Daiso. I'm sure you can get this like anywhere on the internet for really cheap. So yeah, if you want something that will help you wash your hair or deep cleanse your hair, if you use a lot of product, definitely recommend this as well. So another product that I recently purchased is this uh, IT Cosmetics brush. Um, it's the Love is the Foundation brush. And I know that the 2019 version, which is this one, is a little bit different to the 2018 version. Um, 2019 is a flat top, whereas the 2018 and previous versions have been domed. Um, a lot of people swear by the domed one and don't like this one as much. Unfortunately, I didn't get to by the previous one so I don't have a comparison but uh, so far I've been really liking this I've always kind of hated uh, foundation brushes I feel like they're always very streaky on my skin they leave patches and it's just not a good application for me so I was actually pretty skeptical despite how much I spent on this brush but thankfully uh, it paid off because it has been a really nice brush to just like quickly dab on my foundation when I don't really feel like using a beauty blender or if I feel like I want a bit more coverage from my um, Dior backstage body and face foundation that one's a light to medium coverage if I want more coverage from that I'll tend to use this and stipple it on my face because I feel like this gives me the coverage that I want much quicker than the beauty blender and it also just saves me time from you know having to go to the faucet and wearing my beauty blender and stuff like that but yeah this has been another favorite of mine in june as well okay so that was the end of the beauty favorites now i'm gonna move on to just like lifestyle favorites i guess in general and the first one would be ta -da! my gym key card because the gyms have reopened in new south wales um mid-june i think it was i think it was june 13th or 15th and ever since then i've been going back to the gym thank goodness because home workouts just wasn't working out for me i i really prefer to work out in a separate space to my living space i like to compartmentalize things and because my gym is 24 hours i've I really do prefer going later at night, um, anywhere from like 8.30 to 9.30 for an hour workout because there's just a lot less people at that time, you know, um, I have more freedom to do what I want, there's no waiting around. So yeah, I really, do, I really appreciate having a 24-7 gym, I just like it so much more than a gym that like for example closes at like six o'clock on weekdays and stuff like that and speaking of working out for now i've only been working out in one one t-shirt that i have because i don't work out every day so i don't really need a continuous um wardrobe of workout clothes but because my workout clothes were very um 
dull in colour. It was dark navy and black tights. For anyone that knows me, I usually love dressing in bright colours. So when I work out in those clothes all the time, not gonna lie, I was kind of getting a little bit sad. I know that sounds very strange, but whenever I wear dark clothes, I feel quite sad. <laughs> so I went out and bought Ta-da! A bright pink workout shirt from Adidas to counteract that dark workout gear that I used to have. Um, so I bought this new um, jersey. It's like a soccer jersey from Adidas, um, a women's soccer jersey. And what I like about it is that, well, first of all, it's pink. So that's already plus a thousand points. But I also like that the neckline is a bit higher up. So even if I were to do any mat work, like if I were to get on all fours and do things like donkey kicks or fire hydrants, I wouldn't be worried about, you know, people being able to see right through my shirt. And the cut of this shirt is just really flattering on me as well. So I've been really liking to work out in this. And it's also the quick dry kind of sports fabric. I really don't like working out in cotton because I hate that feeling of like sweat soaked cotton shirts stuck to your skin. It's just, yeah, so when I work out, I always choose fabrics that are quick dry or sweat wicking because I just, this, the feeling of like sweat, sweaty clothes stuck onto my body is just like, not a fan. Ooh, next up, also very pink, but I've had this thing since last year and now that it's winter, I can wear it again. And I love this so much. It is the, ta-da! It's an Udi. I don't know if any of you know what an Udi is, but it's essentially like a huge um, wearable blanket in like a hoodie form. Like inside is fleece lined and it's, the size is huge. Like you could, you could probably fit two of me in here it only comes in the one size but yeah this is so warm and so comfortable i wear this so much in winter and it is just the best thing because it's like a warm hug it's like a warm hug every time and i bought this first out of my friend group this is not cheap by the way although i think it's a good investment i bought it and then my friends were like what the hell is this why would you buy something like this then we got something we got the exact same one in a different color and a different pattern for him for his birthday and he has loved it since like honestly i've gotten so many people onto this booty and my other friend actually bought like a family pack, which is four. So if anyone gets cold really easily or they just like really cozy, comfy clothes, I really, really recommend the Udi. I think this is also an Australian um, brand slash company, but I'll link everything that I've spoken about in the description box below. So I uh, make sure you check it out if you want to grab one of these. They're usually on sale as well if that helps like either in bundles or just on sale in general as singles they have so many cute patterns um, ever since i got this a while ago so there was only like four patterns but now they've got so many so much more they've got like um avocado patterns and they've got unicorns koalas there's just so much on there so um go check them out if you like cozy clothing i've been loving my home socks <laughs> Um, these ones specifically are from Muji. I just happened to walk in there one day because uh, my sister works there and I visit her sometimes, very rarely. But on this occasion um, that I happened to visit her, I saw these socks and I thought they were really cute in like a, in like an ugly cute way. <laughs> so um, I wanted to buy these for wearing them at home and I've been really liking it because I'm warm now. How can I not be warm when I'm wearing all of this? Honestly, I like to give a special shout out to my AirPods, my AirPod Pros. Special shout out to these bad boys because I've been working from home for about three months now. And if it weren't for these noise cancelling bad boys, I think I would have gone crazy because my household is loud. Loud. 
I have my mom, my dad, my sister, and sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta block them out to concentrate on work, of course. So special shout out to my AirPods and also for getting me through my workouts. And of course, another special shout out to my always favorite, it happens to be my man. Even though we are in a long distance relationship, he's in Europe, I'm in Australia, he's always going to be my favorite. That's it for the video, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, this random assortment of things that I really liked during the month of June. If you'd like to see more favorites videos, let me know in the comments or um, on my socials, which is going to be somewhere here, I think, during the video. Um, so yes, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share on your, um, on your socials if you really enjoyed it. But yes, I'll see you next time. Bye.